folks, thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman, a channel of satire, comedy, and entertainment. Now, basically a channel of me just calling it the way I see it. And if you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. Also share the video. It's very important that you share the video. And if you don't like what you see, be sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you didn't like. All right, folks, it's Hometown Heretic Day with a twist. Today we have another video from Hometown Heretic Timothy Dixon, but this time Rose is getting into the mix, Sister Rose. We're going to talk just a little bit about Mr. Dixon and Mrs. Dixon. So here's a video we are going to react to today. The video we're talking about today is titled Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Judas Iscariot Betrays, Hung Himself. And it came out on September 19th of 2021. You see here it is from Timothy Dixon. You see his address in case you want to write him or donate to the cause. And as you can see, Mr. Dixon has turned off all comments. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of turning off all comments. I think it's cowardly. He says it's because someone from overseas is trying to use him to scam his people, you know, with an orphanage, send money for Timothy Dixon orphanage. I get that. Um, but he does get a pass on this. And that is because his wife, Rose, is in the video. And any man with common sense would disable the comments if his wife was in it. So he gets a pass on this one. Mr. Dixon, instead of disabling comments on your other videos... Why don't you just put an opening in your videos explaining to your sheet not to donate to anyone and explain what's going on and use that at the beginning of every video. That way you can open up all comments and we can have a discussion. I don't expect you to listen to me, but that's the solution. All right, folks, let's get into it. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Brother Timothy and Sister Rose coming to you today uh, with a powerful dream, a visitation. Hey, Timothy, was it a dream or a visitation? There are two different things, you know. I mean, if you say it's a visitation from the Lord, boy, that sounds awfully righteous that the Lord would visit you. But which one is it? That we've had, I felt... Uh, uh, really pushed real hard, compelled by the Spirit of the Lord to, to get this on up. All right, folks, for the sake of time, <clears throat> Mr. Dixon read from the Bible after they prayed. He went to Isaiah 24, starting at verse 17. Okay? Do not trust anything you see on the Internet ever again. You verify it. You go and you read it. It starts off with verse 17. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon the, O oh, inhabitants of the earth. Okay? And then he reads on through 18. He goes to 19, where it says, The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. And then he goes to 20, and then he's going to kind of really amplify 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and it shall be removed like a cottage. Let's continue. Here, me and my wife, um, Sister Rose, has um, seen something. She's seen something last night as well as me and some other times that God has spoke this that we're putting together. We really felt an urgency, an emergency almost, to put the word out. And here stood out to us how that the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. And that is exactly what's been going on with earthquakes, all kinds of different storms, but mainly the volcanoes and the earth doing um, flooding out through places that's never been heard of like this before. So he thinks that this Bible verse makes sense and in context is what's going on today because we have volcanoes and lava's coming out. Um, has, has no idea about the context of this verse. Uh, when it is, what's it about? 
Um, talks about the earth wobbling to and fro as a drunkard. You think that that equates to volcanoes? Hey, folks, uh, there's an urgency, uh, an emergency almost, is what he said. And the emergency is there's active volcanoes on the earth. See, I guess he's never seen a drunk. I mean, kudos to the guy, you know. If he's never seen a drunk reeling to and fro, th picture it, okay? A drunk reeling to and fro. That's what the earth is going to do. The Bible said it will, it shall be removed like a cottage. It will, the earth is moved exceedingly. The earth is utterly broken down, verse 19. And you get volcanoes from those verses? See, these are apocalyptic verses. These are not verses that you use to prove you're a prophet. That's what's so sad. These prophets reach for anything. Oh, please believe me. Please believe me. I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. See, see, here's what happened. Here's what happened. And then you try to do this lame reasoning using Isaiah 24. So folks, um, if you've not kept up with Timothy, July 4th, 5th, and 6th of the year 2021, Italy was supposed to have a meteor shower that lays it flat. Earthquakes were supposed to shake and topple all the buildings. Tsunamis were supposed to come up and just drown Italy so that it was inhabitable. But that didn't happen. He's talking about these volcanoes like, we don't know what's going on. We, we've never seen a volcano before. See, he predicted all this was going to happen, and then he says, oh man, and then it happened. Yeah, Mount Etna on the island of Sicily erupted a little bit, and it had been erupting for a long time before he prophesied that. Okay, A Google search would have handled this Easily, okay? If, his, if this passes for prophecy, all right, I'm going to just start doing Google searches, and I'm going to be a prophet. I'm going to get 79,000 followers, subscribers, and I'm going to get in the prophecy business. Because if this is what passes for prophecy today, you know the apostles and the prophets of old are looking down, and they've got to be, it's my imagination, they've got to be asking Jesus, is this what prophecy is now? Google searches? Misinterpretations of Bibles? People that may be having dreams, but they are not from God, and they are not for the edification of the church. It's just a dream? Did you ever think about that, Mr. Dixon? Maybe you are having dreams. Maybe they're not from the Lord. Maybe it's just a dream. Why do you feel the need to tell everyone, oh, this is, this is a prophecy, this is a prophecy? I think Mr. Dixon is in love with prophecy. That's what I think. And now Sister Rose is getting in on it. And you know what? I believe in being a gentleman, but Sister Rose, if you get into this, I'm not going to just roll over. I am going to show, even in this video, what you say you saw from the Lord is not the Lord. We'll get there. We'll get there. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high. And what we have been seeing is how um, that the Lord was going to reveal, he was going to bring out all of the corruption and all of the evil that was taking place in America. Folks, if you think that all the evil in America has been exposed by the Lord, you are exactly where the Democrats want you. This is the tip of the iceberg. The Lord has not been exposing all of anything except his word. This is ridiculous. You know what he's saying? Because some folks are getting in trouble in Washington, D.C. Oh, the Lord's exposing them just like I prophesied. That's what he wants you to think is going on. Please tell me you are not this gullible. Started out, it looked like that all that we were saying was a bunch of crazy stuff, that we had no proof. You mean like the three different times 
that you predicted Trump would be in office before August 2021 ended? You mean that proof, that crazy talk? You mean how you talked about how Italy would be desolate by now? How the dead would be raised during one of your uh, uh, preaching conventions or whatever? Uh, July, uh, July 4th, 5th, and 6th? I didn't hear about any dead being raised. And in that video, you even predicted the Lord would then return. July 4th, 5th, and 6th. Boy, you made such a big deal about July 4th, 5th, and 6th of 2021, and none of it happened. Italy's still here. Trump is not in office as of August 2021, like you said, more than once. Folks, I made videos about it. Look at it. Three different videos. And then one of my uh, commenters said he hadn't even made another fourth one. Folks, this is the crazy talk. This is why he said in another video that preachers are telling him, Brother, stop this. And he won't listen. He won't listen. You know why? <clears throat> he likes being called prophet. Folks are getting them to come to his church. Let me tell you something, pastor. Let me tell you something, sheep. If this man is invited to your church, you better do some research. Don't you ever let a preacher come to your church. Pastor, don't you ever give up your pulpit without doing some research on who you're about to let your sheep learn from. All you got to do is type in the name and then the word exposed and see what some people out there are saying. They may be lying. They may be telling the truth. But research it. You're obligated to protect your sheep. Don't you let this man come in and lie. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. The punishment on the host of the high ones. There in um, Isaiah 24 and 21. And the kings of the earth upon the earth. And what we've had and what we've seen is uh, a taking over of our country. All right, folks, it's verse 21. And it shall come to pass in that day, the apocalyptic day, not today, it shall come to pass... In that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. Folks, you are not seeing kings of the earth and upon the earth being punished. He's going to tell you foreigners are moving into America. Every time Democrats get elected, foreigners come in and take part of America. He is trying to tell you verse 21 has been fulfilled and we saw it happen. And what he's doing is he's making a clown out of himself and prophecy. This is not taking place. It lets you know that the word of the Lord right now is speaking to us in such a great, great way that it's undeniably that you can uh, say that it ain't God. God is speaking to the believers. I know that there's some of us, uh, some people out there that just does not believe. Yeah, Mr. Dixon, you created the unbelievers when you predicted Trump. Four different times you predicted he would be in office before August of 2021. You make the unbelievers a prophecy when you say that Italy will be devastated and desolate. You're the one, sir, who are making people not believe in prophecy. It is your doing. And you know what? Jeremiah 23 says that exact same thing. You are the one who are making the lost where they won't come to God. And God treats them and sees them as Sodom and Gomorrah. Folks, look up the verse. It's on the screen. You, Mr. Dixon, false prophet, you are the one who are causing people to fall away and not believe in any prophecy because you have predicted things over and over and over, including the rapture of the church, the total destruction of a whole country, and it didn't come true, but you won't talk about the times that you failed and you lied. You want to talk about your successes. 
Well, guess what? The Bible says false prophets will speak some successes. But you know what, sheep? You've got to see where they're lying to you. And if they lie once, if they are not 100% accurate, they are not hearing from the Lord. And it's sad that Satan would have them bound in such a manner that they cannot see uh, what's right and what's wrong. And, and what really saddens my heart is to think that people like that, uh, you're so, that be so blind that uh, they won't be even saved because they can't see uh, their salvation. They cannot see what is going to save them and what's going to destroy them. Again, Mr. Dixon, that is your fault, according to Jeremiah 23. But I saw, I saw this begin to take place, and I saw the spirit of Judas, how it, it had reached the people of our country, the high leaders of our country. Folks, whenever you hear somebody do what he just did, the spirit of Judas has taken over our country in high places, or whatever he said. In case you don't know, I'm reacting to this. A lot of this I've not seen up until I'm making my comment. When people say stuff like that, oh, the spirit of Jezebel has moved into America. The spirit of, 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 of Cain has come in. The seed of Cain, he once said. He once tell, told someone in one of his videos that they were the seed of Cain. Huh. Aren't we all the seed of Noah? I guess we would all be the seed of Cain, would we not? Uh, that's kind of a mind warp thing. But anyway, when they do this, the seed of Judas has moved in. Folks, Judas is where Judas is. The spirit of Judas is where it is, and it ain't here. This is Christianese speak. This is false doctrine, bad doctrine. That's just like saying, oh, well, they got the spirit of gambling. No, there's no spirit of gambling. See, when you do that, you create it where the person doesn't have to deal with the sin in his heart. They can just say, oh, I, I was a spirit of gambling. I, I'm not responsible for that. I, I, I was a spirit of gambling. Folks, this is garbage Christianity right here to say the spirit of Judas has moved into America. It's ridiculous. Don't you ever believe anyone who says such a thing. And the uh, Judas, that spirit that betrayed Jesus... Uh, was the same spirit that was behind. It was a satanic power that was uh, betraying America. And it was all to do to, uh, whether people could see this or not, it had to do with stopping, stopping Christianity, period. It had everything to do with stopping Christianity. All right, folks, put on your thinking caps. Do you think if America was literally wiped off the face of the earth that that would stop Christianity? Is that what you think? Because if you think that, you have a problem. See, America is not mentioned in the end time, but we know that Christianity continues because there's people that will be saved long after America is no longer a superpower. He said, stop Christianity, period. Folks, this man right here is NAR, New Apostolic Reformation. He thinks the Seven Mountain Mandate is true. He thinks revival is going to come in the end time, everything's going to be set right, and then the Lord will come back. He's got it 180 degrees wrong. There's going to be some bad times. It's called the times of sorrows. There's going to be birth pangs. That's not revival. Times of sorrows is not revival. That's bad times. Something has to bring America down, but that's not what the NRA believes. That's what this man believes. But I saw that uh, 45, which is Trump, uh, he was president, regardless of what the world thought. He was in place and now, and they're hiding it, every bit of it. He said he saw that Trump, 45, is still the president and is in place, but they're hiding it. 
I once made a video where I said I felt sorry for this man because he looked like he was having some kind of psychological issue. Folks, this man, and not in just this video, in others, he says Biden is not the president, even though the Senate ratified or certified the election. Joe Biden is the president. Donald Trump is not the president. He is not in power, and he is not being protected by the news media as the president. Folks, it's not just this video. He has said this over and over and over. He thinks Donald Trump is still America's president. You know what? If Donald Trump does come back in 2024, guess what? He'll be 47. It won't be no more 45. He'll be 47. He'll be the 47th president. Mr. Dixon, you have got to let go of the election. I don't care if it was stolen. Okay? I think it was stolen. It doesn't make a difference. The court didn't want to hear it. The Senate certified it. Joe Biden is the president today. And until 2024 comes along, he's going to be the president unless he has to step down due to health issues, which you've prophesied. I think that Joe Biden died. And this is a, 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 an actor, a doppelganger. Look, even if Joe Biden dies, Kamala Harris takes over. And if Kamala Harris is betrayed, like you predicted in one of your other pro prophetic videos, if Kamala Harris is removed, Nancy Pelosi's president, Donald Trump cannot be appointed president at all, no way, shape, or form, unless he wins the 2024 election. There is no way around that, sir. You need to learn your United States laws that make what I just said true. I've seen the military had, had done all this back uh, with Nancy Pelosi. All right, folks, for the sake of time, he rambles on about how this big conspiracy, you know, happened and it gets exposed and everyone starts losing their positions. And then... Because there's so much trouble going on, God is exposing all this miraculously, and good times have returned for the Christians. And then he says this. And I've seen prayers from all over the world. I've seen prayers from coming up like lights, you know, coming up from all over the world and begin to rise up. Doesn't the Bible say that the prayers of the saints rise up like incense before the Lord? Yeah, I've never heard the Bible or read that we're in the Bible where where prayer comes up like light before the Lord. They were always like incense before the Lord. False prophet. He says he saw Judas hanging from a noose, and the faces began to change. They were the different leaders of our country, like, like they were committing suicide because all this had been exposed, and Jesus has reset everything uh, to a righteous state. So they're killing themselves off. I've seen people that's guilty of this, begin to, uh, some begin to get, commit suicide. And you'll see, you'll see it, uh, all this stuff that's coming up. And, and some begin to lose their places. They was uh, fired, quit. Uh, and I'd already uh, seen, you know, Pelosi had a, a ticket prepared, flying out of here. There it is, folks. There it is. Nancy Pelosi has a plane ticket to fly out of America when it goes bad. I wonder if she's flying Southwestern, Delta, United, uh, what, you know, Lufthansa. Uh, uh, you know, she, she's going to fly on a, uh, uh, an airplane like you and I would fly. She's not smart enough to disappear in the middle of the night and slip out of the country on a boat or a private jet. No, she is going to fly commercial where she has to buy a ticket. Nancy Pelosi's like everybody else. She has to buy a ticket. That's how Nancy Pelosi's going to leave. Not like, not like I would, like, you know, real quiet. Shh, no, give me a private jet out of here. Give me a boat. Take me down to Mexico and then fly me out of here. 
None of that. No, 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 no. She's going to fly commercial. Can't make this stuff up, folks. I mean, well, he can make it up, but we couldn't make it up. And the Lord had told me uh, some time ago, and he told me again the past few days, that uh, they are people that's watching me. Yeah, Mr. Dixon, we're watching you. A lot of people are watching you. It's just supposed to make us give credibility to what you're saying, all the lies you've told in the past. Mr. Dixon, you got a lot of people fooled, but a lot of people know that you are a clown when it comes to prophecy. Look, if you want to preach, preach. If you want to sing, sing. You, sir, are no prophet. You need to drop the prophet stuff. You are a prophet clown is what you are. You need to stop. You can, you can salvage your, your, your legacy, but you got to stop it. And I want my wife to tell uh, what, what she had uh, saw last night. The Lord spoke to her. Uh, this is really powerful uh, for the Lord to tell her uh, stuff like this because it's right along with what God's been speaking to the nation. Okay, it's going to be powerful. The Lord showed this to Sister Rose. Man, that, that, that's a big lead up. That's a big lead up. Let's hear what the Lord told Sister Rose in a dream last night, or, you know, when they made the video. It's going to be powerful. That's what the man said. It's going to be powerful. Yes, I um, got up this morning and I heard these words. Nancy Pelosi resigns from the Biden administration. I seen it in black letters and explanation at the end. I seen it as um, soon as I woke up this morning. Nancy Pelosi. This is from the Lord now. <clears throat> she saw it in black and white letters. I guess the letters were black on a white background. Nancy Pelosi resigns from the Biden administration. That's what the Lord, Jesus Christ, the Savior of all humanity, took the time to show this to Miss Rhode. Nancy Pelosi resigns from the Biden administration. There's just one problem. She is not in the Biden administration. And probably the fifth grade in civics, this is what we learn. All right, Ms. Rose, I'm sorry you decided to get into the fray. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to roll over and just let you say what you want to say knowing that it's not true. You might have seen this. This is not from the Lord. Okay? Whatever you saw is in error. And here's why. There are three branches of government. The legislative, the executive, and the judicial. All right? This is where Nancy Pelosi is. She is in the legislative, the House of Representatives. She is Speaker of the House. And this is where Biden's administration is. Okay? They're his cabinet members. They're in a totally different branch of government called the executives. The legislation and the executives do not answer to the same people, okay? She is in the House of Representatives legislative. He is the executive, and his cabinet is his administration. And if you go to, I think it's whitehouse.com, you will see right here, it says right here, the Biden-Harris administration, and then it gives the names of his administration and Miss Rose. Nancy Pelosi's name does not appear. I don't know what you saw, but it was not from the Lord because the Lord knows Nancy Pelosi is not in Joe Biden's administration. To think he is means that when she was Speaker of the House, 
during President Trump's administration, then Speaker Pelosi was in the Trump administration. And we know that's not true. They are, there are three separate branches of government. The legislative, the executive, and the judicial. And she is not in the executive branch. She is not in the administration. You are wrong, Miss Rose. I'm sorry. You are both frauds. The Lord had told me uh, that Nancy and the five will fall. That is her political power, the five that um, the Lord is referring to. They're all coming down. Nancy Pelosi, in print, has said, I mean, she said it in, in reality, they've already put it in print, that she would step down at the end of the 117th Congress, which I believe ends in 2022, all right? So if she steps down, you can't say, oh, God removed her. She Look, she may get into trouble and she stepped down. But she promised years ago, if they would elect her, that at the end of four years, she would step down as speaker. She'd be out of politics. That comes up, I believe, in the year 2022. So I looked it up and here it is. BuzzFeed News. Nancy Pelosi has agreed to step down by 2022 by 2022 to secure the votes to be Speaker of the House. And this was on December 12, 2018 at 7.32 p.m. Eastern Time. She made a deal with the House. If you guys will let me be Speaker one last time in four years, I will step down and I'll be out of politics. She's going to hang it up. So, Mr. Dixon, I do not want to see when Ms. Pelosi steps down, you say, oh, uh, we predicted this. My, my vision came true. No, Mr. Dixon, your Google search probably came true. But this was predicted, or I'm sorry, this was reality in 2018. Okay? I don't know when you had your dream. And as far as the other five, I guess you're talking about the squad. Okay, yeah, let's, let's see those people just all of a sudden go poof out of politics. But you know what? If you're right, it would be a miracle of God. And I'll commend you for it doesn't mean you're a real prophet. This is, um, the Lord is going to stop this because of, because of a revival in this country. See, folks, the NAR believe, Kingdom Now Theology, Dominion Theology, they believe that one last big final revival has to hit before Jesus will come back. And that has been poor theology for years. It has been proven wrong and it keeps rearing up its head. And I think that this big push by the NAR and the signs and wonders and the prophets and the prophecies and all this other gobbledygook put together is the strong delusion Jesus spoke of that would be the great falling away, the apostasy of the church. Look at Mr. Dixon's face right here. You see that? He is bringing the apostasy to the church. Uh, I begin to see the Lord begin to bring back to me about the whirlwind again that I spake of, of how that the whirlwind hit the Capitol. And, um, and what stood out to me, though, this time was the two, Moses and Elijah, that come out of the whirlwind. They was present of the world when Elijah come out of it, you know, and, and to look at it uh, in a way now that the spirit of Elijah came out of that storm that hit the White House that started cleaning up, you know, and, and the Bible says that Elijah would come and restore. So, you know, uh, the hearts of the children back to the fathers and the father's heart back to the children. Folks, he is just blatantly, blatantly taking stuff out of context. Are you really serious? You just took that scripture about Elijah and, and, and put it into him cleaning up the United States Capitol? This is what the NAR does. They take anything they can find. They twist and bend and warp scripture to say, see, I'm a prophet. It's in the Bible. Folks, please tell me you see this.
please, please tell me I am not wasting hours and hours of my time trying to convince people who can't see the absurdity that is Timothy Dixon, clown prophet. We are seeing the Red Sea open right now. We are seeing the time that we have left Egypt and we are underneath the power, hallelujah, of something that has opened up the Red Sea and that power is the Lord, hallelujah. And we're in that day, we're in that time that uh, we don't have to no longer wonder who is the president of the United States. We know who it is. Yes, Mr. Dixon, we know who the president is. You, sir, don't. The president's name, okay, is Joe Biden. It is not Donald Trump. You're delusional, sir. You need to drop it. You're making Christian prophecy look like a bunch of fools are running the show. And with the NAR in charge, there are a bunch of moronic idiots who have no discernment running the show. This right here, folks, is a prophecy clown. Uh, but the Lord is moving, and uh, God is going to reverse uh, the wealth from the wicked, and he's going to give it to the righteous. He's fixing to give TV stations to the righteous. Folks, this is the same nonsense that Kent Christmas has been saying. If you watch Dixon long enough and you watch Christmas long enough, you'll see that Timothy Dixon is basically a little mini-me wannabe of Kent Christmas. Kent Christmas talked in 2018 about a prophecy where the wealth, of the, the, the sinner's wealth was going to be transferred to the righteous. Yeah, right. It didn't happen in 2018. It didn't happen in 2019. And he said it again in 2020, and it still didn't happen. Okay? This guy right here, Timothy Dixon, Robin Bullock, and Kent Christmas have some kind of triangular prophetic clown nonsense that they put on. All right? They all, they all puke out the same rotten information and expect you to believe it and think that they are prophets. People, don't be fooled. Please don't be fooled. That we don't have to worry about no more about our stuff being took down because of the truth. Hallelujah. He's going to give that to the righteous people and he's going to turn it around a short time right here. If you've got a sickness or something that's wrong with you, I want you to lay your hands on your, your chest and, 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 and believe with me. Lord, we, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you touch everyone, touch every sickness, I bind every force of the enemy. All right, folks, we're living in Christian utopia because Timothy Dixon has bound every force of the devil. He later talks about binding and kicking out demons. We are in Christian utopia, people, because he has bound every evil force. Folks, you would think a prophet would know what the scripture meant about binding on earth, bound in heaven, loosing on earth, loosing in heaven. You would think a prophet of God would know that. So he bound all the evil. Um, folks, is there still evil running around out there? That just tells you that this prophet does not have the power of a prophet, or he at the minimum does not understand scripture. I drive out every demon in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Word of God, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, folks, there it is. Timothy Dixon, Miss Rose, I'm sorry. Um, I try to be a gentleman. Um, I don't like false prophets, people that say they speak uh, on behalf of the Lord, and they don't. They clearly don't. I mean... I would think Jesus understands American government. <clears throat> Folks, this is a false prophet. He's not even close. He's not even close. That's just the way I see it. If you don't prove me wrong, leave a comment and tell me. Defend this man. Leave a comment and defend Dixon. Defend Rose. I'm out of here. I got to go find an aspirin. I hope to see you again on the Alabama Woodsman.